I'm Helen. I'm a CNA at a local hospital. My husband passed this year, Bob Reichert. He passed uh, May 4th. I'm in grieving right now, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. People don't understand that, but when a loved one's taken, sorry. Nobody can, can understand unless it happens to you. It's like, um, you hurt so bad, and there's nobody you can tell. You can say anything you want, and everybody's always like, oh, I understand. No, you don't. He's gone. There's no getting him back. Even when I called the hospital when they said he was there, I was talking to a nurse, and I kept saying, Denise, where's Bobby? And it wasn't clicking, you know, and I kept saying, where's Bobby? And she kept saying, Helen, he's gone. And I said, yeah, they, they brought him here. I know, I, I need to come see him. She goes, no, honey. He's gone. Bob's been sick for a long time. And then he heard about uh, a place where he could go and they could fix his sciatic nerve and everything was going to be a lot better. Well, he grabbed it because he wanted to feel better. So we take him over and uh, he has a surgery. Within two hours of the surgery, they call me and say, Mrs. Riker, we need you to come to the fourth floor. There's been an incident during your husband's surgery. So I go up to the fourth floor. Now, mind you, I'm by myself, 130 some miles away from home. And I go up there, and he said, we have to ship your husband out to another hospital. Now he's going 30 some more miles. He had to lay there. Within that week, Bobby had another surgery. After that, Bobby started going downhill. He was already in pain. He was already depressed. All the medication he was on was not helping. Then when they sent him home, he's home all of a sudden I'm doing IV therapy. I'm not a nurse, I'm a CNA. The nurse that comes into the house tells us about, you know, it might make him depressed. And I'm thinking, I don't need him anymore depressed. 